What is going on everybody? So today I'm going to talk about a movie that I did not know anything about. I saw the poster for it online. I saw that Shutter had picked this up for distribution. It's not on their streaming service yet, but it is coming very soon. It's a movie that after I watched it, I found out was directed by the same filmmaker who made Vivarium, which is a movie I watched last year for the first time and actually really loved quite a bit. And so I had a lot of excitement going into this one. And the movie I'm going to be talking about today is Nocebo. Nocebo is directed by Lorcan Finnegan. A fashion designer hires a nanny from the Philippines to assist her in caring for her family while she is suffering from what she believes is a tick related illness. The nanny uses traditional Filipino folk healing techniques to help her, but in the process of doing so, she uncovers a horrifying truth about why she is there and why her employer is actually sick. So, as I said, I really enjoyed Vivarium. I had no idea what to expect when I watched this movie, and I absolutely loved this movie. This is my kind of weird, abstract, surreal, uncomfortable, just incredible type of movie that I love that uh, is just really unique and original and I'm always looking for movies that kind of tap into those things. So as the plot description states, you're introduced to Christine and Felix played by Eva Green and Mark Strong. They're a husband and wife couple. At the beginning of the movie, you see their young daughter, Bob's played by Billy Gadsden and they're getting her ready for school. They're trying to get her out of the house and they get into an argument about who's gonna pick her up from school and so Mark Strong ends up leaving with their daughter and Eva Green gets ready to go to work. She's a fashion designer for a children's clothing company. They almost make it comically like European Old Navy, just like the way that it looks. And so she gets there, she starts doing this um, like fashion show with these kids and a mid midway through the fashion show, she goes into the back room by herself and she's standing there and this dog walks into the room and the dog has like hazed out clear eyes and there's these weird like bugs crawling all over it and it starts to walk towards her and one of the bugs jumps up and and attaches itself onto her neck like on the back of her neck and she passes out on the floor and when she wakes up she's in there all by herself and she doesn't know what happened she starts to lose track of memory and time she ends up getting a phone call right before that that you can't hear what's going on in the phone call other than they say something happened and she goes, oh, uh, uh, I don't really have time to talk about this right now. I can't really process this. And that's when the dog comes in. So after that happens, she's like going through her day to day life for a while. She's struggling with things. And where one day there's a knock on the door and Diana, played by Chai Fanassier, shows up at the door and Diana is like, hi, I'm here as your nanny. And she's like, well, I don't remember calling a nanny. I don't remember this. She's like, oh, you called me like a week ago. I'm here to work for you. I'm here to help you. And so she comes into the house and all of a sudden she starts doing these things for the family where uh, she's helping them out a lot. And she's helping Eva Green's character deal with this issue that's happening since she ran into this dog and all this weird, surreal abstract horror elements start coming into play and the movie hits a third act twist that I did not see coming that was incredibly well executed and entertaining so I really enjoyed this movie I think a lot of it has to do with my Fanassier's performance who plays Diana she is phenomenal in this movie she is so charismatic and brilliant in her facial expressions and her bodily movements everything about her performance is so commendable of the screen that I could not take my eyes off her while I was watching the movie. She was phenomenal. Obviously, you look at Eva Green and Mark Strong, who are two actors that have been in the game for a long time. They both give really good performances in this movie. And what's so great about it is the way that it's not just a straightforward horror film. There's also some comedic levity in the film at moments that I think is done so in kind of like a dark way that really makes it intriguing to watch, especially for you as a viewer kind of processing what's happening on screen at that moment. And I love movies like that. I really love the way that this was shot. Even like the title cards at the beginning feel like it's a movie from a different era. And I was really appreciative of that. And I think 
I love movies that are really psychological that can like interlay horror elements into it while not necessarily having to have a jump scare every 30 seconds, which this movie is so much about atmosphere. It's very claustrophobic. Most of it takes place in this one house, which is great because it really allows that tension to build up and make you as the viewer feel incredibly uncomfortable and unsettled about every single thing that you're watching on screen, which I always love movies that can approach the filmmaking technique in that way. And this one was just fantastic. I, I honestly didn't know what to expect with this movie, and I am so glad that I watched it, and I think you should definitely check it out as well. You'll find something to enjoy in it. So if you seen Nocebo? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was fantastic. I had no idea what to expect when I watched it, and it was it blew away my every expectation. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.